I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the Great Barrier Reef and their many thousands of years of spiritual connection with land and sea country. And I would like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority is an Australian government agency responsible for protecting the Great Barrier Reef. We do this in collaboration with the Queensland Government and one of our primary tools is what we call our zoning plan. This is a plan that essentially says what activities you can do out there on the reef in different places and that is run through our field management program with the Queensland Government. We have rangers and vessels out there on the water making sure that people are following those rules and that's a really important part of protecting our Great Barrier Reef through our Great Barrier Reef Marine Park. I'm the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority and I work with a team of other technical and scientific professionals here to make sure that the work we do in protecting the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park follows the best possible scientific advice. Townsville and North Queensland are actually a world leader in coral reef science and management. We're famous everywhere throughout the tropics of the world for doing world-class coral reef science and natural resource management. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, marine science and coral reef management really took off in Townsville with the formation of James Cook University, the Australian Institute of Marine Science and the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. Between those three institutions, over the succeeding decades, Townsville became a world leader and world famous for excellent science and excellent coral reef management. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the most amazing, spectacular and beautiful ecosystems on our planet. It is an economic powerhouse, supporting billions of dollars in economy, tens of thousands of jobs. It is an essential component of the spiritual connection of our traditional owners to their land and sea country. It's a part of the North Queensland and Australian identities and it's a scientific marvel. Having said all of that, the Great Barrier Reef is under pressure, particularly from growing impacts from climate change. We've seen in particular in recent years three severe marine heat waves that have caused a lot of damage to the reef. But that damage is not everywhere and it's not equal and the reef remains a resilient ecosystem and it's that resilience that we're working incredibly hard to try and protect. That resilience is the key to the future of the Great Barrier Reef. There are essentially three different levels at which people can help protect the Great Barrier Reef. If you're somebody who actually goes out onto the reef to fish, go boating, diving, snorkeling, then please make sure that you follow the marine park rules and the fisheries rules. And please make sure that you don't leave behind any rubbish. If you live next to the Great Barrier Reef in the catchment, then please make sure that you don't put any chemicals or similar things down the drains because those will find their way out onto the reef eventually. But in fact, anyone, anywhere on planet Earth can help protect the future of the Great Barrier Reef because the greatest threat to the reef is climate change. So no matter who you are, no matter where you live, if you can reduce your greenhouse gas emissions in your home or your business, then you will be helping to control climate change and you will be helping to deliver a better future for the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is an amazing asset for us and for future generations, but that means that when we're out there in the marine park, it's our responsibility to behave sustainably and look after it. For us, that really means if you're visiting the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park, please be reef smart. That means follow the rules of the zoning plan, particularly in relation to fishing. Please be very careful how you anchor your boat and in particular never put your anchor down on coral. And last but not least, please do not put any litter or food scraps over the side of your boat into the marine park. If you can be reef smart, you will be helping us to protect the Great Barrier Reef for the future. When I was a young boy growing up in London, my parents were keen scuba divers and I learned to dive at the age of 16. Uh, I'd already been snorkeling on reefs 
since my earlier years. And in fact, I was eight when I told my parents that I wanted to be a marine biologist. I think they thought that was pretty cute and that I would probably want to be an astronaut or a fireman the next week. But the truth is I stuck with it. And I studied marine biology at university. I did a PhD on coral reefs. But when I really fell in love was when I came to Townsville in North Queensland and I saw the Great Barrier Reef for the first time. And the Great Barrier Reef blew my mind. It is such an incredible, huge, diverse and beautiful seascape and landscape with the islands that I was immediately captivated and I fell in love. And since then, in the early 1990s, I've dedicated my professional life to protecting the Great Barrier Reef. My absolute number one favourite thing about the Great Barrier Reef is that it is impossible to pick a favourite thing about the Great Barrier Reef. It's huge, it's unbelievably diverse. There's about 3,000 different coral reefs. There's a thousand different islands. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is bigger than two thirds of the countries on planet Earth. It's so huge and so diverse that even though I've lived here for 28 years and have snorkeled and dived on the reef many thousands of times, every time I go out there, I see something new, I see something that surprises me and takes my breath away. So what I love most about the reef is that you can't pick one thing. It's a new experience every time and there's always a surprise. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority was created by Australian Parliament in 1975 and the whole reason that the authority exists is the protection of the Great Barrier Reef on behalf of the Australian people and indeed on behalf of all the people of the world. That's why we're here, that's our job. But protecting the Great Barrier Reef has an extremely important personal part for me as well. My daughter just turned 15 and she learned to dive when she was 12. She and I have been diving on the Great Barrier Reef at every opportunity that we can get. Seeing the reef for the first time through her eyes for me is like seeing the reef again for the first time myself and it really has re-inspired my passion for protecting the Great Barrier Reef because I know that the Great Barrier Reef is not just important for us in this generation but it's important for our children, our grandchildren and unborn generations into the future. So it's our responsibility now to protect the reef for people into the future. One of our focuses here at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority is to make sure that we educate people about the values of the Great Barrier Reef, the threats to the Great Barrier Reef and what everybody can do to help protect it. We do this in all sorts of different ways. We work with traditional owners of the Great Barrier Reef. We work with schools, particularly our reef guardian schools. We work a lot with communities, so we have a whole series of local marine advisory committees up and down the coast of the Great Barrier Reef where we talk to local community. But obviously these days, we also do a lot of work through electronic and social media. So we spread the word globally. We even use video conferencing to connect with people, schools, universities, in all parts of the world. And we're very much trying to spread the word that the Great Barrier Reef is an absolutely amazing place, but it is under pressure. And we do need stronger action, both locally and globally on climate change, to protect this amazing natural wonder. One of the most amazing things about the Great Barrier Reef is the connection of the traditional owners of the Great Barrier Reef to their land and sea country. These people have lived here for at least the last 60,000 years. During that time, they have seen sea level rise by about 150 metres. So the land and seascape today that is the Great Barrier Reef was completely different during their time here in this part of the world. That tens of thousands of years long enduring spiritual connection to the environment of the Great Barrier Reef is one of the most amazing things about this land and sea country. Because that is so important, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority works closely with traditional owners of the land and sea country in the Great Barrier Reef. We work with them on managing country. We have traditional owner rangers who are part of our field management program out there on the water, on the land, helping us to protect the Great Barrier Reef. 
One of the things that we work really hard on at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority is striking a balance between making sure that we use the best available Western science, but also the tens of thousands of years old traditional ecological knowledge of our traditional owners of this land and sea country. Those two approaches, Western science and traditional ecological knowledge, give us the best possible over understanding of what's happening on the Great Barrier Reef and let us work in partnership with traditional owners to protect the Great Barrier Reef. Every five years, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority produces an outlook report. This both assesses the current condition of the marine park, the pressures on the marine park, the effectiveness of measures to protect it, and the outlook for the future. Based on what the outlook report says, we work in collaboration with the rest of the Australian government and the Queensland government through the Reef 2050 plan. This plan brings together community, industry and all levels of government to work collaboratively to protect the Great Barrier Reef. We also collaborate at the international scale through the International Coral Reef Initiative, which is a collaboration between most of the countries that have coral reefs to try and help each other to do the best we can to protect these precious ecosystems. For people who live in Townsville and North Queensland, there are a lot of different ways that you can get information about the Great Barrier Reef and specifically about the marine park and what sort of rules there are about what you can do when you are in the marine park. In particular, please go to our website, which has a huge amount of information. We also post through all of the major social media channels. And last but certainly not least, we would encourage you to download our Eye on the Reef app. This is available both for Android and Apple devices. And it allows you not only to report to us information that you've seen about things happening out in the marine park, but it also provides you with information about our zoning plan and the other rules of what you can do when you're visiting the Great Barrier Reef.